Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to Canva or new to print-on-demand and would like to see some useful tips and tricks, be sure to stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. What this is, is just a bunch of Christmassy graphics and um, just a regular font text but we've gone ahead and put a clipping mask over it. So what a clipping mask does is it allows us to put a texture, a pattern, a design over our image. So what I did is just sort of create this using a wreath, using a silhouette of a deer, using a bow, putting in some text. So I just created one big image, one big silhouette image. And then what we did is we put the buffalo plaid clipping mask over it. Buffalo plaid's obviously very popular around Christmas time. But just to show that you could do this with anything, I also did a second version of this design, and that is this one right here. It is the exact same design, only this one uses a kind of glittery gold clipping mask. So we did use, again, one outside source. I used Photo P for this, but it was very quick. Again, you don't have to create your own account. It is totally free to use, and it is very fast and very easy. So if you would like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start with our uh, blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And I am gonna be uh, designing on black today again, so I'll go ahead and switch my background color. So I'll just click my page, come up in the left-hand corner where it says background color, and I'm gonna go ahead and select black. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be creating a Christmas design since quarter four is coming. And so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and make just a simple kind of reindeer design. It's more the technique that I want to show you versus the design. So I'm going to come up here to my tabs on the left. I'm going to select elements. And here's where we're going to go ahead and search for some graphics to use for Christmas. For this one, I'm thinking maybe something like a reindeer silhouette. I'm just going to go ahead and put in reindeer. Let's get that in all caps. And I'm going to go ahead and for this, I'm going to sort by graphics here. And you can see I've got a lot of different reindeers to choose from. I'm looking sort of for more of a straight on head design. And you can see here, there are some designs here that already have a, a clipping mask on them. This is kind of the technique I'm going to show you how to do, but you can do it with any image you want. And so I'll show you how to do that. And so there's a lot of really cool reindeer. I am looking for one that's sort of just the face if I can find more of just the uh, headshot here and so we can scroll down now you can do this on any design you can do it on a photo you can do it on a graphic it can have as many details as you want all you're going to do is end up with a a solid silhouette in the end and again it doesn't matter what color you want to pick because it will just be a silhouette. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take a reindeer, we'll stick him here. Next, I wanna put a little wreath around him, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put wreath. And so I'm looking for any wreath will do. Something like this looks nice. And so again, I can just go ahead and cross this underneath him. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I want it to kind of fill the page here, maybe something like that. That's pretty. And then maybe some, maybe I could get some Christmas lights on his head. Let's see if I get Christmas lights. Let's search for that. Lots of different fun Christmas lights. So I'm just looking for any old random strands I can kind of maybe put across his antlers. Something simple. Eh, those are kind of big. Let's see. Lots of different ways I could do this. Mm -hmm. And I can't really see where it ends. I want it to end just inside the antler so it doesn't stick out. Something like that might be cool. Let's slide that up just a little bit. Again, don't worry about the colors for this technique. It doesn't matter at all. Let's go ahead and put a bow on the wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and do another search, this time for bows. And again, any bow will do something that kind of drapes down like this that one's kind of cool it's mostly the shape that you're looking at so again don't worry about color or design just find the shape that you like and there's a lot of different styles of bows 
Mm -hmm. That one's kind of cool. This one. Let's try this one. This one looks a little bit shorter. And it's got a thicker bow. Okay. So that'll do. So I'm just going to take this entire design now and I'm going to group it together. And this is how I can resize the whole thing as one. Once I get it all grouped together, I just clicked outside of the image and drug all over everything. I can hit group up here on the right hand corner. And now I just have one large grouped image. Now I can take this whole thing and I can move it up on the page and I can resize it however I want to make room. And so I'm just going to go ahead and center it. Something like that looks pretty good. Now I got a little space down here where I can put some text. So now if I just hit T on my keyboard, I'll pull up a text box. Here, I just wanna go ahead and just type Merry Christmas. We'll just keep it simple. And because I do wanna be able to see it, I'm just gonna change the color. Again, it doesn't matter what color I go with for this design, but I do want it. To, I do wanna be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna take this Merry Christmas. I'm gonna bring it down here. Ah, I made a small c okay <clears throat> and now i'm going to pick a font uh, for this technique you're going to want something that's a little bit more bold um, i do still like to go with something Christmassy, but i do want it to be a little bit thicker something like that might look good it's it's definitely got a little thickness to it so it'll work fine i can make it really big and that's pretty centered i think Okay, so once I have the general shape that I'm looking for, remember we're just going by shapes, I'm gonna go ahead and add a page and now I'm gonna pick what I want for my clipping mask. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick one, um, we're, we're gonna pick one like pattern that we want to go over the whole thing. What's really popular at Christmas time, of course, is buffalo plaid. You see buffalo plaid everything. So let's just go ahead and do that just so I can show you. And so we'll just take any buffalo plaid, that'll do. Now it needs to be big enough that it would cover the entire image. And since our image covers an entire page, I pretty much have to have this cover the entire page. What that means is I can either drag it out like that, but now my checkers are going to be very large. If I want smaller checkers, no problem. We'll just do a pattern with this. And so that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this down. So it's about halfway through the page. And then I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna hit Control D and duplicate it. And I'm gonna bring another one right over to the side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do that again. Control D, I'll duplicate it. And I'll do it a few more times until the whole page is full. That way I've got the clipping mask exactly how I want it. Perfect, and one more. And that's how you can play with the sizes of your checkers too. So I could make those as big or as little as I want. And of course, there's some other cool patterns too. If you look over on the side, they already have some, some clipping mask patterns that have a plaid and have uh, the leopard print, which is pretty popular. It has some different colors. So you can definitely see some different styles that you could put in here too. And you can already see the clipping mask is over a lot of different images. So this is just one way that you're gonna be able to make your own. So any of these that you see that you like, that you want to be able to make your own, we're just going to go ahead and use this technique. <clears throat> now this technique uses one outside source, uh, Photo P, and I did show you in an earlier video how to use Photo P to make that sort of wavy, groovy text. So for this one, we're going to show you how to use Photo P to make a clipping mask. It is just as quick and easy, and just like last time, you don't have to create an account. It doesn't cost you any money. You literally just log on, do your editing, and then export it, and it's really quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and export both of these images. I'm gonna export them separately. So I'm gonna start with the first one. I'm gonna do a download. I'm gonna leave it as a PNG. We're gonna go ahead and use a transparent background. Here where it says pages, I'm just gonna go ahead and do page one, and we'll just download that one first. And I'll wait a second for it to download, and then we'll go ahead and download the second page. Perfect. And so I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna download PNG, transparent background, all pages here. <clears throat> and we're just gonna do page two. And page two doesn't really need a transparent background because it's the entire page. So we're just gonna download as is. Perfect. 
Now I do want to show you one other thing. I told you you can use any kind of clipping mask you want. Obviously plaids are very popular around Christmas time. Another one that's kind of popular around Christmas time that people don't think of is sort of a gold. Um, so I can do gold glitter. And you can see there's a lot of different gold glitter things that come up, but something like this one right here where it's just solid. And I can go ahead and do this one more time. I'm just gonna fill my entire page with gold glitter. That way I can show you how I can make, oops, different things look. There it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this one too. So I'm gonna download. Uh, again, we're just gonna do page two. And we'll download this one. That way we have one layer that is a buffalo plaid and one layer that is a gold. That way I can show you both of these. There we go. I also specifically chose this design so that you could see that you could do this with graphics and with text. So you can do it with just text, you can do it with just graphics, you can do this technique on just about anything and with just about anything you want as a mask. Um, there's also some really cool just Christmas text in here. So if you ever just look and put like Merry Christmas, you're gonna find that there's a bunch of different cool Merry Christmas is up here. You can use any one of these and you can put clipping masks over any one of these. So if you haven't looked at some of these, there's a lot in here. So especially if you don't have the font that you want, I could have used any one of these down here too and it would have worked the same. I just wanted to go ahead and show you that we could do it with text and I can pick any text uh, or any font that I want for this. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to PhotoP. So all you have to do is type in your browser photop.com and it will bring you up to this page. And so from this page, you'll click this button right in the middle where it says open from computer. And then from here, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna open our first page, our, our first download, <clears throat> which should have been the design. And so here it's just gonna pop up your design. Now this is really simple. We're gonna come up here to where it says file in the left-hand corner. I want you to click on that. And then you're gonna scroll down where it says open and place. So at open and place, we can click this. And now we're just gonna pick what we want for our mask. And so I'll go ahead and do the Buffalo plaid one. And it's gonna put that right on top of my image. So now what you can see is Buffalo plaid and when you can't see underneath, but it's in the, the um, under layer is my design. And then so from here, all we have to do is come up again to these top tabs here. You're gonna to go to the one that says layer. And then from layer, you just scroll down about halfway down, you'll see something that says clipping mask. If you uh, click on the clipping mask, it is just gonna automatically create that design for you. It's gonna put the buffalo plaid there. And so now what I have is my cool buffalo plaid design and I can go ahead and export this. So again, if I come up to the top hand corner where it says file, I click that. I'm gonna scroll about halfway down where it says export as, and then I'm gonna export it as a PNG. And that should pull up another box just here. And all I have to do is click save. And right there, that is gonna save my design. Now I did wanna show you that you can do this with different masks. So I'm gonna take this design one more time and we're gonna go ahead and put the gold on it. So to do that, we just repeat the same process. So all I'm gonna do is come up to file. I'm gonna open and place. And then I'm just gonna select my gold background. All right, and then just like I did uh, with the plaid, I'm just gonna come up to where it says layer on the top. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says clipping mask about halfway down, I'm gonna click that. And now I've got a gold design. And so I'm gonna go ahead and export this too, that way you can see both of them and then we'll open them back up in Canva. So I'm just gonna export as a PNG. And then save. Once you get familiar with this and you know where everything is, you can literally do this in a couple of seconds. It really is just a couple clicks, I mean, once you open your file, all you have to do is literally add the clipping mask on top, go to layer, click on clipping mask, and then go back to file and export. And so you can do it very, very quickly, just a matter of seconds. Um, so it's very convenient and it is very fast. And so from here, I can come back over to my Canva page where I had my original design. And so you can see my original design right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the original one. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of, oops, 
my clipping mask too. That way I can pull up both of these designs for you to see. So I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and just drag and drop both my designs here. So you can already see the Merry Christmas one here. Looks pretty good. And I'm gonna pull it out. That way you can see right there. And so that's what it would look like. It would look really awesome on a black t-shirt there. Now the Buffalo plaid one might not look as good because it's gonna blend in. But with the Buffalo plaid one, we can do some outlines on it just like we would do with the text, like I showed you with um, any text using frames. So all I have to do for this one, once it's done uploading, and you can see right here, once that fills up, it's uploaded, perfect. Now I can use the photo effects on it. Now we've done this before. So I can hit edit image, <clears throat> and now I'm in my photo effects. From here, I can hit shadows, I can hit glow, and this is how I can put an outline around it. Now I can do the outline in any color that I want. So I could do white, I could do gold, I could do silver. <clears throat> so it doesn't really matter. Let's say I was to just go ahead and do white so you can see it. I'll get rid of the blur, I'll get rid of the transparency. I'm gonna make it pop just a little bit. Don't need it to be too bright, something like that. And then I'll hit apply and we'll give it a second to finalize. And then you can see how this looks when it's all done. And so I resize it and I'll center it. Perfect. And so now we have two different designs that we use the clipping mask for. So here is our Buffalo plaid one. And so that looks pretty cool. And again, I can add a drop shadow if I want to, just like we did with the text, or I can leave it simple like this. I could add multiple outlines from here. You can use any of the photo effects you want on it. And then down here is the same one, only with the gold clipping mask. Again, if I wanted to, I could do an outline around it or a drop shadow, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. And so that's it. That's just a really simple way that you can use the clipping masks from Photo-P to create your own really cool designs. Um, this is very similar in style to what you would do if you were making a custom frame. The key difference, and I do wanna point this out, is that with this, when we put the mask on, the mask is going over the entire design. When we create custom frames, typically we can select different images for different parts. Um, so for example, if I was to create this in a custom frame, I would be able to put one, one image in here. This would be a frame. This would be a separate frame. Each of these leaves would be a separate frame. The bow would be a, a separate frame. So I could put different, um, <clears throat> I guess, different uh, photos in, in each of these areas. When we do a clipping mask, it is, it is the entire thing. So that's the difference. Um, so with the messy bun design, when we do the sunglasses, you would still wanna make that a custom frame because you typically want the frames to be one color and then the lenses to be different. And usually you might want a different design in each lens. So if you wanna do that, you do still have to use the custom frames unless you just wanted both lenses and the frames and all of it to just be one solid like silhouette style then you could use a clipping mask and do something like this which is a lot faster and easier but you just don't have the um necessarily the freedom to do as much with this as you do with the custom frames um so i hope you found this video useful i hope you can get really creative with this again play with different graphics play with different texts um, you can use this however you want. So, you know, get designing. Remember, quarter four is coming. So if you haven't already started on your Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas designs, uh, you want to get rolling on those really quick. And so I, uh, I wish you guys good luck and I hope to see you again next time. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.